Okay. Um, so, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I'm Latanya, and I'm going to be talking to you about automating your progressive deployment using Rollbar, Kubernetes, Prometheus, and Flagger. Uh, so before I start a little bit about me, um, I'm born and raised in Brazil. I first left Brazil to go to University of Illinois, where I got my PhD in linguistics. And I got exposed to my first scripts and bits of coding doing data analysis for my research. Uh, after many happy years in academia, I made an organic transition into software engineering, passing by Hackbred Academy, which is an engineering school for women. Um, I'm a software engineer at Robar, and I've been at Robar for two years now. Uh, in my free time, I like to do yoga and to cook. But now back to progressive deployments. So progressive deployments have been increasing in popularity, but there might be some reasons holding you back from using them. And today I'm gonna be talking about some ways to mitigate some of those reasons. And maybe uh, you think that if an error doesn't break your pipeline, your deployment pipeline, you're not gonna be aware of it until it reaches the customer. Or maybe you think that progressive deployment requires constant attention, like tracking metrics or waiting for the pipeline to complete. Uh, or perhaps like you think there is an insufficient error signal because it's hard to know where the error is coming from just looking at 500 status code errors. So that's where Robar comes in. We give you contextual information using stack traces. So we like to classify your errors by level, choose to ignore them and lots of other things. We have uh, lightweight SDKs for all major languages and frameworks. And uh, we have a very unique grouping algorithm because it's powered by machine learning. And then we send you notifications um, via Slack, email, page of duty. You, you choose your poison and we allow you to take immediate action. Um, so what we are proposing today is that you use all of this to achieve the following dream, my friends. No more anxiety every time you deploy. No watching the deployment closely. Let's just move on from monitoring metrics and let's start an alert. And what we need to do in order to achieve that, I'm gonna start showing what we need to put in your cluster. So we start with an error that is generated by your canary deployment and then it's sent to Robar. So uh, Prometheus gets this data from Robar and Flagger pulls this information, those metrics from Prometheus. And with that information in hand, Flagger tells Kubernetes to halt the deployment if needed. And then when the deployment is in check, the circle begins all over again. So we are, pro we are proposing an automated feedback system. You pre-program your deployment decisions based on error feedback. You set up your cluster and deploy with confidence that like if you can automatically stop your canary rollout the very moment that new bugs appear. So let's use this flow as an example of like how this is gonna happen. So here you have a release, uh, you release a version and then Flagger deploys a canary at 5%. Then if there is no new errors, that's okay. You promote your canary and increase traffic. But if there is a new error, then Flagger is gonna hold your deployment. At this point, the developer is immediately informed and you can go back and do a triage of your error. If the error is not critical, maybe you mark it as a warning and next time it comes around, it's not gonna influence or stop your deployment. But if it is critical, you try to fix it. And if your fix doesn't go well, next time it comes around, it will stop your deployment again because it's gonna come out as a reactivated error. So the dream is possible, folks. You automate your deployment, you push it out and you move on with your day, knowing that if there is a problem, it won't pass by you. No more watching metrics on screens or waiting for your pipeline to complete. And then, Doing a triage at Robar is super easy. We keep track of your versions and your deployments. And if you click on a version, we give you like more details about the errors. Like here I have a reactivated error related to this version deployment. So 
What else can I show you? Let's take a look at the parts of the Robar toolkit for Kubernetes. Here you have the project operator. Uh, the project CRD defines the Robar projects in the Kubernetes cluster. And the project controller, which connects the Robar to the Robar API. Um, and here we're going to see uh, the Prometheus exporter. The exporter calls the Robar API to expose Robar data to Prometheus. They're running in GA cluster. And the export controller manages the configuration for what for the, the data that will be exported. So this enables automated progressive delivery to work with Flagger the way the Flagger is built. And the goal of the project operator is to make it really easy to configure Robar inside of the cluster. Uh, we are using declarative resources in YAML following good GitOps principles. And we need, we just really need to provide uh, the Robar name if your local project name is different. Otherwise, the operator uses the same name for both. Uh, Robar organizes your data based on environments and declarative makes tokens available in your cluster. There's no need to add a token. We can create one for you. You just need to provide the token scope and that's it. We have our project resource in our cloud, sorry, in our cluster. Uh, now, the only thing we need to do is to connect the deployment to the project inside of the cluster. Uh, we do that by providing the following annotations. We need a project name and we need a version. And the version is gonna distinguish uh, the different versions of your code, of course. Uh, the version can be a Git SHA and uh, it will allow Robar to show where exactly in your code the error happened. Um, if you have two different containers inside of your pod, you just need to provide a longer annotation. And annotation keys are used to inject values into the container to configure the row bar SDK in the container. Now, all you need to say is which token, which version, and which environment the container is using. And your deployment is now connected to the project inside of our cluster. The Prometheus um, exported Go is to enable tools like Flagger to use Robar data to automate decisions. And it's very easy to configure the project operator. Let's take a look at that. Uh, so what you need in your canary is a target deployment Sorry, yeah, I'll target deployment by name. And you, you probably want to use a larger interval to safely check for errors. You also need a custom metric template for analysis. And you need to set up your threshold for errors. And here we are using zero because we don't want to let any errors pass by. We use web, web hook. Uh, that let Prometheus Exporter know when there is a new deployment. Or maybe, you know, if the deployment has been promoted or if it has been rolled back. So it will export the desired metric. Um, on Flagger, all we need is again to add the name, the same name that you added in the canaries, and we need the annotations. So the annotations generate proper metric queries using the project, the environment, and the version labels. At Robar, we are contributing back to Flagger, and we have a PR coming up to improve the data back at the metrics. Um, let me see what else I can tell you. There are some things to be aware of. The annotation keys are not proper goal identifiers. So you must use a dictionary assessors you must use this on area assessors or maybe a range like in the Helm template. We also include all the deployment metadata so you can use labels. And let's now take a look at the Prometheus metrics. They are generated. So here are the metrics that are being exported. And we are here adding up the new and the reactivated errors. We also have labels 
to refine our query, which again, we're tracking version, project, and environment. And the metric templates in Flagger allow to create metrics on Prometheus that Flagger will use. And that's pretty much it. You're done. So you can use our toolkit to lower your deployment risk and to resolve any critical errors faster by automating this stuff. We are trusted by developers. Uh, here are some many of the best tech companies in the world which, who relies on, on Robot. And we are part of the workflow to block and mitigate bad releases. So go to robar.com uh, to check out beta version uh, for this feature, which is coming up November 18th. We have a free plan to make it easy for you to try it out. And uh, we also hiring. So come, up, come help us build software tools that make building software easier and less painful. Thank you for watching. Awesome, awesome. Thanks so much for, for walking us through that very detailed uh, like feature description of how Rollbar integrates uh, with Flagger. It's got to be one of the most emerging spaces, I think, uh, for people who are looking to improve their maturity uh, with their deployments and their, their posture to it. Uh, that was awesome that you um, were able to kind of describe what Prometheus metrics uh, would look like for somebody with this particular setup. Um, did, is that something that required a lot of thought or do you think that the open interfaces made it a little bit easier to kind of get things going? You mean that required a, a lot of thought like to build that or? Yeah, I don't know, just the, you know, like what, what went into it? Cause I mean, it, it looks, um, you know, like it's such a natural approach, you know, and I'm yeah. just wondering as like, was, was it just the way that like Flagger was put together that allowed that to be, you know, puzzled? Yeah. Okay. So here I have a secret for you. We have an insider, uh, Jeff Hofer, who built the tool or thought of, taught the tool off. He used to work uh, with you guys. So he knows the, the, he knows Flagger really well. And so I think it just came naturally to him, you know, like the way that it flows. Yeah. Well, it certainly highlights the the value of open source, you know, and um, the the fact that you can keep working together, you can stay on the same team, you know, for the community and and build integrations that make sense across companies and across uh, solutions, you know, sure, that, rather than using something that was built internally. You know. Exactly. Yeah, and keep on growing together because, you know, the intent is that. Uh, Based on the conversations we had, like the contribution that we're making to Flagger, it's also going to allow Flagger to be used in other contexts. So we are growing together. Yeah. Well, I suppose we're just waiting around for anyone who wanted to ask any specific questions. Uh, but did you have any uh, reflections from uh, today's kind of sessions at all? Were you able to tune into anything? Well, actually, I'm on the Pacific coast of the US, and this uh, it's uh it's gonna be nine o'clock in the morning here i didn't have a lot of time before i jumped in to talk to you uh still making your poached eggs <laughs> yeah yeah oh well i had i had some quick eggs uh but uh but yeah i i think uh tomorrow is gonna be a better day yeah um, and it's got more technical today, content tomorrow yeah today when i woke up i was more concerned about looking presentable and <laughs> being ready to talk to you yeah, we all know that feel, I think, uh, you know, what are we nine Thanks, months into right? pandemic land, right? So oh, <laughs> everyone's yeah, just trying true. to make sure they have their pants on when they join Zoom. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Long time I don't put some makeup on, so it was weird. <laughs> yeah, well, you certainly brought the heat today for your presentation. Thanks so much for, for walking us through Flaggers integration with Rollbar. And we always appreciate uh, these high quality contributions uh, to to projects that really make make everything um, or make GitOps, you know, something that's more uh, pioneered, something that sure. you know, this is all fresh. It's very, very new. Um, what am I saying? It's all, it's all fresh. It's very new techniques, new paradigms that are being made possible to be used by everybody. 
you know, these aren't tools anymore that you need to custom build on your team. It's not just Netflix, you know, doing the keynote at some DevOps days, you know, speaking about red black deployments. Uh, these canary deployments uh, with the open interfaces, open infrastructure tooling, the systems that we are building on these days, they're shared, they're for everybody. And exactly. uh, we we really appreciate not only your uh, technical contributions, uh, but also just the, the knowledge that you're sharing here today on how you can integrate a smart error reporting system like Rollbar uh, into you know, a policy-driven canary deployment flow. Very cool. So sweet. Yeah. Well, uh, Thank yeah, it didn't look like we had any share. specific questions roll in. I think people miss an opportunity to pick your brain, but maybe you just covered everything that you needed to. So <laughs> thanks so much for, for speaking Thank with us today. Thank you as well.